What up, what up, YouTube Lakes? Coming back at you with another StarCraft II cast. On the top left hand side of the map, we have our red Zerg player Ashes. And on the bottom right hand side of the map, we have our blue Terran player Cheese Whiz. I wonder if Cheese Whiz is actually going to be cheesing. I'm always curious to see if these players live up to their names. This is a gold versus platinum level game. Ashes being our gold level player and Cheese Whiz being our platinum player. So this is going to be an interesting matchup indeed. I'm very curious to see what kind of unique strategies we might see from this uh, arguably lower level bracket. And it looks like we have a drone, a drone scout coming down for Ashes. Cheese was throwing his own scout towards the other side of the map here, but we also don't see, we don't see a hatchery. Normally we'd see a hatchery coming down pretty soon. We do have a spawning pool first at what looks to be 16, 16 supply. Barracks coming down for our blue Terran player as well. I, this, uh, this drone is, is acting mighty sus to me. I don't know if that's just me. This is... Oh, right. I guess it's not just me. We have a proxy hatchery coming down in the natural location of the blue Terran player. Oh, man. Cheese Whiz getting cheesed himself. This guy has no idea he's about to get some, uh, <laughs> some very fine-aged cheddar. This is some very, very spicy cheese. <laughs> I gotta say, this is like aged pepper jack i don't even think that's a thing but it is now this is spicy aged cheese right here man oh dude and cheese was totally unaware he scouted this he's keeping an eye on the natural he's got to know something's up i mean keep in mind this is a platinum versus gold level game so i'm assuming cheese was might might be in the lower level platinum bracket but still i mean you saw that it is going to be a spawning pool first, at the very least, at least so you think. And you don't see a hatchery, you should be throwing down down some, uh, some units here. And he does have the reactor on this barracks, which will help uh, quite a lot. And he has a wall here as well, but this hatchery finishes. So now, this is going to be a very aggressive push by Zerg. We have... We have the spine crawlers queued up for the Zerg player. I think he's <laughs> he's sending the drones all the way from the other side of the map. These spine crawlers are a thing of the distant future at this point. We get to see it, but they're not going to be around for quite a while. In a uh, StarCraft time, this is going to be like two or three years at this point. These spine crawlers, they're a uh, they're a project for the future generations here. Finally throwing down it looks like it's going to be four spine crawlers ash is not doing anything i i wonder does okay okay cheese was sees the creep he sees the creep he knows he knows there's a hatchery there's no other option here there it's not going to be a, a nidus worm that would be way too early first of all and second of all he'd hear the the announcement in game that a nidus worm was detected so this is going to be a proxy hatch, and at this point, Cheese Whiz is aware of this. Uh, I was going to say the right move is to not to not land the orbital command, dude. You saw it. You see the creep, my guy. Oh no! <laughs> Luckily, none of these shoot up. Maybe he's using this at orbital command as a scout. But it really looked like he wanted to land it there, and. Uh, <laughs> the Queen's getting some pokes in on this Orbital Command. Ultimately, not going to be a huge deal. This Siege Tank is going to put in some work, though. I hope we have another Siege Tank on the way. It looks like we do have a Siege Tank in the Production tab as well as a Liberator, which will help. But these Spine Crawlers will be able to destroy the Supply Depot, and this is going to open up the wall of the Terran player, but the Siege Tank, I think, is going to be able to knock out a lot of these Zerglings. If any go through, I would be kind of shocked. I don't think they were on move command, were they? They weren't. They did get a little bit of hits on the Siege Tank, but 
ultimately it's at 151 life it hardly got poked it's not even in the yellow it's still in the green and now we have a second siege tank as well so i really think uh ashes should have been more aggressive with this uh you know by nature a proxy hatchery is as aggressive as you can get where cheese is concerned you want to throw down pressure right away uh unfortunately going against against uh terran player it's going to be very difficult as a zerg to break through the wall and really make this uh proxy hatchery worth it cheese was better be careful though to not overextend good job running back to the fire line of the tanks able to clean up a lot a lot of those zerglings and now cheese whiz throwing out some anti-cheese himself cheese whiz is like not today man i know it's in my name but we're not having cheese for dinner tonight we're going full vegan here, baby. But it also looks like this Liberate Liberator got seven kills uh, on the back of this. I didn't even notice. I was too focused on this uh, proxy hatchery here. And now these queens making a very slow retreat back home. They're like, you know what? Screw this. We're not dealing with this proxy hatchery. Uh, you guys can have it. <laughs> and now... <laughs> Now we have a, a real hatchery in the natural base location. This SCV has survived throughout this. It's just been on vacation. It's like, hey, I know there's uh, some work to be done back home, but I'm just going to keep an eye out on this natural and have uh, have some mimosas, whatever. Just chill out. Now he's running away. He's uh, <laughs> His PTO is gone. He's like, okay, now it's dangerous. He went to an exotic location. Oh, no. Oh, no, this poor SCV unfortunately did not make it back to work <laughs> ran into the line of three very slow queens on the great migration back home it's taking them two, two years to get here man this is insane the orbital command going to be landing in the third base location of the terran player at this point i think i would fly it to the natural location to be a lot safer by the time it got here most of the creep would be gone it really wouldn't be that delayed any more delayed than it already is the hatchery here in the natural base completing for zerg taking a look at the army supply it's really not that crazy it's 27 to 14 in favor of the terran player roach warren is coming down at this point at this point, I think Cheese Whiz should try to throw down some pressure on the natural while while Zerg might be slightly behind. I mean, it is now almost 40 supply, army supply to 14. So I really think Cheese Whiz has, <laughs> has, has it in him to win this game at this point if he counters in time. But he wants to make sure that Ashes doesn't have, have enough time to catch up in game right now and i didn't even notice that there was a creep tumor here so that delayed i guess the third base at this point for for the terran player here it does look like we saw some scvs caught slightly out of position here but they did spot the zerglings that are about to run by to what is the second base in the third base location for the terran player I feel like that's way more confusing than it has any business being. It's literally just the second base in the third base location. These Zerglings being sacrificed. <laughs> There's not even a wall here. This is a lot of damage. All, all things considered, though, I thought those Zerglings would go down a lot faster than they did. And now, now we have the counter. And it is looking like Ashes is catching up a little bit in army supply. It's now 30 army supply to 46 still in favor of the terran player but not nearly as big of a lead as he had uh just a few minutes ago we have one spine crawler which will help throw down some dps here but at this point i think i would have used those minerals for for macroing up unfortunately though those roaches getting melted to these tanks this is four tanks these queens exploding what a gruesome death avenging avenging that scv that was on vacation for most of the game ashes being a good sport about it gg well played is thrown out cheese whiz victorious oh did not mean to go to the score screen but <laughs> very interesting game ultimately ultimately 
Cheese Whiz able to hold that proxy, and unfortunately, Four Ashes was not able to catch up in time, did fall behind. So, interesting game indeed. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider shooting me a like and subscribe. And if you want me to cast any of your own games, I will leave my email in the description below. I'll see you guys on the next one.